you know I was gonna say I really dislike almost the boiling temperature of like strong hate <laughs> when uh, when people meet me and they get to meet me online like go you know they, they meet my pictures my videos whatever I put on, on the internet like I like I, I, if I can I try to avoid people knowing that side of me until they get to know me face to face personally up close rather than because it's happened so many times people have met me that way they don't know enough about me personally or spending time with me in person so they, they have they create this whole thing in their head and then all of a sudden it's too much and they don't want to associate with you what for whatever reasons uh, come from it and, it's, and I'll tell you this it's always different reasons it's never the same reason um, but for the most part it's intimidation a lot of the time like it's just it's just too much at once and uh, or they had this idea or they had this idea of you and then what they see online changes that so they, they realize you're someone else and it could be same that could be the same thing that could be intimidating equally and it's just different reasons I don't claim to know all the reasons but I know they're not always the same reason but what will happen is that person will then not want to speak to you anymore distance himself from you and I hate that because what's happened is they haven't got to know you personally they've got to know what they've seen online so what I try to do if I can is avoid them getting to know the online side of me before they've got to know me personally because that changes everything once I've spent time getting to know me personally and what I'm about and spent time in my presence and stuff like that without yeah they're judging that's right they're building up this whole thing in their head from what they're seeing in a computer on a screen and I, it, it, it really gets to me I hate that I hate that not having the chance to let them learn more about me before that side of it comes in like once I've got to know you and they've seen what you're like and they've spent time around you know your crazy bits and all that kind of stuff then fine they can get to know you online then because it's, it's nothing there there's no pre thing going on before you've even got to you know express who you really are or, get, or for them to get to know who you really are and create that judgment then they can judge what gets what I hate is that they don't get to judge from a correct standpoint from an accurate from a real standpoint of the real person and I, I, I hate that's a boiling point of hate <laughs> it spoils what could have been you know whatever that relationship is you know it spoils it it's, it's kind of like crushed yeah it's killed before it's even had time to blossom you know before it's even had time to become anything it's killed without being given a chance to grow I think a lot of people uh, react irrationally like I had a friend recently who did that same thing met me a few times but then went online and said, said all this wealth and overwhelming amount of content with me and looking at me pictures all that kind of stuff video and then they formed this other thing in their head about it and that just scared them off they came and told me afterwards they apologized after they acted irrationally and said I don't want to see you anymore you know all this stuff uh, they act, yeah they, they apologized because they realized that they'd been silly you know this is their words about you know how they reacted and they came back and you know we're, we're communicating again but just that initial reaction I think a lot of people have that and they go away with that and they don't change they don't think about it they've made up their minds and that's it you're this is what they've whatever it is however they're affected by it because I have a lot of content online and people will take different things from it you know it either, it either draw some people to me or repel uh, people from me and it's sad when it goes the other way because they haven't got to know me you know really you know, I think there's aspects, but it's nothing like talking to the person. And, you know, it's, it's you know what it is. It's too much at one time. That's what it is. It's too much at once. It's too much uh, exposure to me at once. They put on the computer, they go on one something they've seen, a link to me or whatever, and it, and it opens up everything else that I have that I, that I have online, like from everything. They can find everything. So it, it's too much. It's too soon. It's not that spoon feeding you get when you meet up with someone. It's spoon feeding, isn't it? You get to know someone. You exchange conversations. You go out. You might do some stuff. You get to know them a bit more. See a bit more of their personality. And it's gradual. It's like spoon feeding. But when you go on the internet and see about someone, it's, it's too much at once. You're seeing this. You're seeing that. This comes up. That comes up. You know. It's it's it's, it's uh yeah. It's, it's one of my little hates, man. <laughs> It's one of my hates because you know it's, it's, it's such an important thing you know getting to know someone and letting things develop and grow and it doesn't get a chance because of that so if I hate anything that's one thing I hate <laughs> it has had its opposite effect as well where it's drew people closer to me but um, because of the the, the the negative times where it's turned out negative uh, is the times that I wish you know I could it wasn't like that that's the times that I don't want 
people to meet me through the internet. That's made me more about, you know, not wanting people to meet me that way or get to know me that way. So what I would do is not bring up any of that stuff. I'll not bring up anything about it. If they find it, they find it. But I always hate when they find out like that. I'd rather let them get to know me like the old fashioned days before you had all this wealth of information that hit you in the face on a computer screen. Yeah, it's a natural progression when you get to meet someone that way about all social media. You know, you don't get a chance to show who you are. It's already been presented for you and people take from that. Not always in the right way, you know? It can go against you. Yeah, the only thing with that is, that's, that's, that's a good way to put it. Yeah, if they really want to get to know you, they will, blah, 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 blah. Not taken away from what you said. But the problem with that is, is that they're not getting a chance to. They're not getting a chance to, they're just hit in the face. Because <laughs> it's, it's more than the one day or the five minutes that they're spending your time. It doesn't get to grow. It's sad, it's so sad, I want to cry. This is people that I've met in person, I'm saying. Yeah, I'm only talking about people I've met in person. Only people that I've met in person have only seen me a few times at the most. Which is like, say, three times at the most. And then after that, they get to know you online. So it hasn't grown enough, them spending time in your presence and getting to know what you're like. And it's all coming in the, one, all at once in the face on the internet. So then it, it, it kind of can give them, a, depending on their perception of things, it gives them a whole different view to what may not be reality. Yeah, you don't look at me that way because you know me. You don't look at me in a negative way because you know me. You, don't have, you, you, didn't, you didn't learn about me online. You didn't learn about me on the internet. So you're not going to have that. You, you know the real me. You spent time around me. You, you're, you're getting to know the stuff online afterwards as a, a secondary thing but when people are getting to see you once or twice and met up with them and then they're seeing the, all of that straight away that's the, that's almost the, that's almost their first impression and it's so sad it's so sad and it's nothing i can do about it once it gets to that point no matter what you tell them they've already seen haven't they they've already seen whatever they've seen and taken it how they've taken it and you can't reel it back in man you can't change it so if i can avoid that before people get to know me, I will. I'll have a secret identity. I'll create, I'll have a different name. You know, an alias. <laughs> Some other name I've made up. John Smith, whoever, you know. Who could I be? I'll be Robert. Robert Williams or somebody else. Somebody else, just some other name. Some random name. And then I'll tell them my real name later, after they've got to know me. <laughs> and I'll tell them why as well, I'll explain to them why, but then I'll, they'll just see that, I'll, they'll just think I was a liar from the beginning, <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> then it just all goes to piss anyway. <laughs> you lied about your name, what else have you lied about? <laughs> that would all go wrong too, wouldn't it? When you first meet people, you don't give them that chance. Because you're making judgments, you're making judgments right there as you've met them. You're forming judgments in that fir those first meetings, you're forming judgments. So if anything comes in, if someone, that's like someone whispering in a person's ear saying, you know what, stay away from this guy, he's no good. But if they knew you enough, they'd say, that's not true, I know this guy, he's fine. But if they're hearing it from someone who, when they don't know you that well, they're going to take it on board. And it might affect whether they see you or interact with you again. Well, that's the thing, I think it is, it's both people's loss. I don't think it's just their loss, I think it's my loss as well because that could have been a great relationship that was spoiled by this overwhelming of what they saw on the internet. It's a bit of a loss, isn't it? Because you, you both never got to see where that relationship could have gone. And I'm not, I'm not just talking about sexual relationships, I'm talking about relationships in general. Business relationships, you know, all kinds of relationships. Yeah, just random people that you, you, you meet and interact with and that you, it doesn't get a chance to develop. Could have been great friendships great relationships didn't get to blossom because of uh you know however they perceived your online persona <laughs> sometimes it's too much you know for people it's like they think i'm a, like you know i don't know what a regular guy is you know just you know it doesn't have all that stuff going on like they see when they go online but they realize that you're not just in their opinion a regular guy so that's kind of it throws a, it throws it off it throws a whole another thing in that they weren't ready for and then it, it's too much and they don't want to interact with you no more it wasn't you know it's just it, it can be a lot i can see where they're coming from but it's just sad because they didn't get to know me i felt the need to express that because